guys, how's it going? Eli here back with another video where today we're going to be having a conversation about my buying strategy for the rest of the year of 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So as always, get out of the way, you want to enter into our weekly giveaways. All you have to do is be subscribed, leave a like, comment down below on any of the pre-recorded videos we post each and every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Of course, we've got three winners that are each going to be receiving 12 Lost Origin booster packs. And then you can comment and like on each video, which allows you for multiple entries. So thank you guys all once again for supporting the channel. Wouldn't be able to do this without you all. But without further ado, let's get into the topic. So I'm going to be just kind of doing a little bit of a discussion today. Um, I will, if you want me to, make a backdrop of the TCG player just so we can kind of look at the general prices of things. But, you know, one of the most common questions or two of the most common questions that get asked is when's the best time to buy and when's the best time to sell? So right now I'm going to be doing this video as more of a like when's the best time to buy kind of video and we're going to have a later conversation on when the best time to sell is probably for a video coming this next week. Um, but it, like I said, more of a kind of discussion because obviously with the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium collection being extremely expensive and you know, Evolving Skies booster boxes. Everyone's always wondering when's the best time to buy, when's the best time to buy. And you know, I have general strategies and we're going to go over those discussions and then I'm gonna give you some reasonings as to why I think this is the best time to absolutely buy. So number one main point of the discussion is that the Pokemon company and the way in which they tend to do certain things is they love to do their reprints all at once. Yes, I know there are some times in which reprints will just randomly sort of happen. But if you look historically speaking, Pokemon Company tends to just throw however many reprints they have, and that's usually at the end of the year. That's why we're having this conversation. That's why they're having this video, because typically speaking, when it comes to summer, you have a lot of people that basically are going outside. They're spending more time not playing Pokemon, being stuck indoors. And so the opportunity in regards to just general retail sales for retailers, um, it's not as great as it is when you're say going into the winter time. Um, and that's why a lot of the holiday events, of course, are going to play a big factor into that. Um, also specials as well. A great example of this is Costco. For those of you guys that don't know, Costco tends to run specials quite frequently on Pokemon product where you're able to get a lot of these product at literal wholesale prices, if not cheaper. I mean, you know, there's been a big one floating around, um, you know, and I had to check it out for myself in my new area because I just moved to Arizona, went to my Walmart and they were indeed having the same deal. So if you go right now into your um, did I say Walmart? <laughs> Into your Costco. Um, you're going to be able to find either a Chilling Rain or a Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box bundle. What it comes with for $37.99, or at least in my area, it comes with a, a tin and then a also one of the ETBs, which is a great deal because, I mean, if you're talking about, you know, like an EV tin, like the general four-pack one or a Mew tin, those are going for around $19.99. Obviously, the value of it is more closer towards somewhere around the $15-ish price point. But if you just take that into consideration, you're getting that for free when you purchase one of these ETBs. Or if you want to say, hey, I'm getting an extra amount of value, it's almost as if you're getting that ETB at less than wholesale by getting four free packs with it and a promo. So the value for being able to find a lot of these opportunities is extremely important to kind of um, take into consideration. So if you are a Costco member, I do highly recommend go checking out in your area, seeing if that's something that is potentially available for you. Um, obviously, there are some other times. Uh, I know that Walmart for a while has been extremely hectic, and I know in some places it still is quite hectic, but there is going to be now more than ever rollback opportunities now that we go into the holiday season. Um, Pokemon product specifically back home was starting to have a lot of issues selling. Scalpers have practically been eliminated. And so um, in that area, of course, I know it's different for each person in it, each Walmart. Um, but as far as it goes, you saw, I mean, back before the pandemic, we had rollback opportunities where you can get a basically buy one, get one free on a Shining Legends 
pin collection. I remember I was buying those. Um, we had some other deals that were going on where we were able to get tins on rollback for $12 and that was buying them at wholesale. So there was tons of opportunities on rollback when you're talking about going through and looking at Walmart. So really being more patient and being more aware of that specifically coming into the holiday season. <clears throat> um, Black Friday deals. Black Friday deals are going to be massive. That's another thing I, I want to have a conversation about. You know, a lot of people always talk about, you know, Eli when's the best time to sell, obviously. And um, one of the times I always tell people the worst time to sell is, is going into winter, going into holiday season, because once you start getting into the holiday seasons, you're going to have a ton of opportunity to buy. I remember literally in 2020, you had Target doing a Black Friday special where they were selling EV tins, which included one Evolutions pack, one Crimson Invasion, one Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, and then one Burning Shadows pack. So decent pack selection, obviously some good, some bad. Um, and they were selling it for $9.99 is how much they were selling it for. So 50% off what was the retail value and $5 less than what is the wholesale value or, you know, depending upon the time and inflation, what would be today's wholesale value. So it was an absolute steal of a deal. I know a lot of people loaded up on that and you're going to more than likely see a lot of that coming up. So that that's something that's extremely important to understand when looking at opportunities um, when you're talking about these online big retailers. Um, now, you know, another point, of course, of contention, well, let's say I, I don't have access to a Costco membership. Let's say that my local area Walmart is on rollback, or let's say Target is, you know, struggling. Uh, there's, there's not opportunities available. Well, still Black Friday, you're going to have a lot of deals. TCG Player is probably going to have a program, whether it be for their direct members or not direct members, where they're going to give big cashback discounts. You're going to see other sites doing BOGOs. I remember for last year on my Black Friday, I did a special Black Friday bundle where if you bought one Fusion Strike, um, it was a Fusion Strike booster box and you got it for, I think it was nine, I think it was $90 for each if you bought cases worth and then for evolving skies it was $99 worth so that I mean that was an, a really good deal at the time I actually was able to sell a, sell out of that relatively quickly and I know some other sites were also offering extremely good deals whether it be buy one get one free buy one get one 50% off or obviously bulk discounts depending upon how much you were buying so going into that you know kind of Black Friday, Christmas time, you're gonna see a lot of amazing opportunities to buy. And then of course, leading into the next point, which, you know, kind of bringing it all together, wrapping it back around of the start of the video where I said, hey, Pokemon Company loves to do reprints all at once. People tend to spend more time outside. And so the opportunity to sell during the summer is not really as much there for retailers. And so there tends to be a correlation between these holiday times and big reprints happening. Last year, a perfect example of that is we had reprints for both Battle Styles, we had Chilling Rainwave 2 come out, Vivid Voltage reprints, Darkness of Blaze reprints. Um, we had obviously Fusion Strike come out all at once. We had Evolving Skies get its Wave 3. We had Celebrations product that was also getting their second waves there. And I think that's it as far as it goes, but that's like eight sets that happened all at once. Um, you know, some of it was them trying to kind of catch up on the pricing on some things. And so, you know, cause obviously Vivid Voltage booster boxes were starting to climb in price again, same with Darkness of Blaze and Chilling Rain. So they were finally, you know, able to get caught up and stuff. And now regardless of whether you see such a, you know, a chaotic amount of reprints coming this winter, I do expect there to be a decent amount of reprints. Historically speaking, there's usually at least been two to three, you know, reprints. Year before that, 2020, the reprints that we saw, for those people that remember, um, we had a small Unified Minds and we had a small... Um, Unbroken Bonds reprint that just kind of came out and hit us with it. So just a lot of opportunities for reprints coming into this winter. Um, and, and I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, uh, I know this might seem speculative, but I wouldn't be surprised if 
you saw something like a Brilliant Stars booster box reprint or some Evolving Skies, you know, booster box reprints just to kind of hit. We were told, or at least I was told by my distributor, that we were going to be getting a small Evolving Skies reprint. They were expecting to get a Brilliant Stars reprint sometime in August. That got, of course, pushed back to what looks like to be sometime in the fall is what I was informed. So there is an expectation already that Brilliant Star is more than likely going to be getting a reprint sometime later this year. We just haven't gotten exact confirmation because there's been delays of it. So kind of tying that in with a new set that's gonna come out, let's say Sulphur Tempest, for example, which is going to be coming out in November, you could potentially see that's when the Brilliant Star Booster Box reprint is gonna come, or it could come somewhere in between that and Lost Origin. So you know, really just kind of looking at, okay, what's the possibility of which sets being reprinted and why do we think that? Because I mean, in all honesty, it's really up in the air on what booster boxes could get reprinted, especially considering that the Pokemon company just pushed back the standard rotational format to the start of early next year. For those people that don't know what that basically means is the Pokemon company only does reprints for cards that and are in the current rotational competitive format for their competitive game. So if let's say for example Sun and Moon product which got rotated out last year is you know part of their C product well it's not going to get a reprint because it's not viable for the tournaments it's illegal cards to be used. So it is the D product which was supposed to go out of rotation this you know this month or last month usually it comes around August or September but instead they say hey, it's gonna be early next year that leaves open a lot of possibilities for any of the product basically within the sword and shield era to present to potentially get a reprint um, of course we haven't seen a reprint of rebel clash or sword and shield base so any of that is kind of up in the air rebel clash ETBs never got reprints champions path although it did get a reprint it wasn't you know, one that was able to bring it below or at MSRP prices. So, you know, there's a real opportunity, I would say, for some of these older sets to get one last reprint. And that'll be, I think, really good buying opportunities, whether it be to add to your collection, personally speaking, or whether it be, you know, for a long-term investment as you're going to be able to get this product right before we go into early next year and they officially go out of rotation. So if for those people that want to know the exact list, um, you can go on the Pokemon website or just think anything from Sword and Shield Base all the way up until Shining Fates. Any of those uh, sets are the ones that are part of the D format. So Battle Styles to Present. Um, just think any set basically that has had an alternate art till now is going to be a part of the next rotational wave E. Um, and that's not going to go out of rotation for at least another year and a half or so. But... But yeah, so once again, kind of hunkering down and hitting the main points of when is the best time to buy Pokemon product. One, going into winter time, I think this is going to be the main point that I'm going to drive down. There's going to be a, a lot of opportunities for Black Friday deals, rollback deals. You're going to see a lot of opportunities nowadays, specifically what's going on with Costco specials. Now that, you know, we're not having as big of an issue with scalping. We're going to see a lot of opportunities as well for bulk discounts on Black Friday from non big box retailers. And then, of course, as I mentioned just in the last portion of the video, talking about how the Pokemon company has historically liked to do a lot of their reprints near the end of the year all at once. So I think that if I'm looking at kind of a time frame of when all this is going to happen, you know, realistically, it's going to be around you know the month of November and end of October is when you could potentially see these reprints start to happen right around, like I said, Silver Tempest. But of course, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. You know, this is just my opinion. You can do your own research. We look at the history of things historically what the Pokemon company is doing. And then of course, you know, this could tie in as well to Black Friday before or after, but Pokemon company likes to typically do all this stuff before so that you can kind of prep for Christmas and all these other holidays. But um, so be patient. I know a lot of people are really anxious to get a hold of Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Charizard collection, but there's gonna be opportunities um, to get it for much cheaper, I promise you that. And then there's going to be opportunities to get other product as long as it's still in print. But 
Um, that is all for today's video. As always, if you want to enter into our weekly giveaways, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We post content each and every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for you to comment and like on. And then, of course, we've got three winners each and every week. Our winners, which will be announced on Monday, will be each be receiving 12 Lost Origin Booster Packs. So a full booster box is going to be given out each and every week on this channel. But... Um, that is all once again for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Until then, I will see you guys on Monday. Peace.